Hey everybody, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I am doing an unboxing, and this unboxing is the outside box. So, uh, quickly, if you don't know what the outside box is, it's a monthly subscription where it gives you an outside activity to do for you and usually with some other people, so it gets, you know, grouped together. And anyway, everything you need should be right inside this box, and it shouldn't be anything too extreme, so anybody of any age or athletic capability should be able to do what is ever inside here. So let's open it and see what we got this month. Okay, this month's activity. I can open I can open the box. <laughs> Alright, got the tissue paper. I got I got the paper this month so I know what it is. Uh, let's see. Your monthly inspiration to get outside. The theme is weather watching. Okay. So inside, let's see. Is this my pocket guide? Okay, weather pocket guide, a must-have reference. So that's that right there. And, oh, this is kind of like the, the stargazing one. This, uh, what I like about this is, because when I'm outside, I drop things. Like, when I go on those, <laughs> when I'm outside, I tend to drop things like maps and stuff, and then they get wet and gross, and I ruin them. But uh, this you can get wet and stomp on. I mean, it's laminated. It's, it can handle, uh, handle me and uh, how I abuse papers and stuff and maps in the woods. Alright, but anyway, let's see. Okay, this talks about clouds, all the different types of clouds, which I remember learning about in school. What is this? Weather phenomenon, thunderstorms and lightning, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. I guess that this is going to maybe teach me how to spot a tornado's coming. That'll probably be really good. That's my fear, guys. Like, I... Um, you can bring on the snowstorms and stuff all day. I don't really live in hurricane area. I don't really live in tornado area, but some have hit really close to here. And those those things scare me, because I don't know how you prepare for one of those. They just, just happen. Um, also talks about water spouts of dust devils. Probably won't see any of those. Uh, rainbows, aurora borealis. Oh, someday, someday. That is on, uh, I guess you could say my bucket list to go check that out. Or sleep in one of those, like, um, somewhere, you know, where there were Aurora Borealises, you can have, like, um, you rent, like, a room, but it's, like, I think the whole roof of these little huts or whatever is just, like, glass. So you can just lay there, and you just look at it, how beautiful it is. Someday. I think that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, it talks about weather. So anyway, just, there's the outside, and then, woo, it's got all these pictures and different descriptions, um, Oh, the back talks about predicting weather, stuff like that. So, anyway, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we got cloud cards, eleven waterproof cards. So there, those are. Um, let's bust it open here. Okay, so the clouds. I guess you know. Um, God, if you remember this from school, I remember. I remember this stuff from school. It talks about the different types of clouds. Shows you the picture. Um, the back describes the type of cloud. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, see what type of clouds are outside. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, the different types of clouds also will help you determine the type of weather that you're about to get. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Alright, so I got something called a folding map compass. That's what that looks like there. Uh, it's one of the most reliable and versatile compasses available. The rugged liquid-filled compass offers many useful features not found on standard compasses. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then it pops open with that little compass inside and then a mirror so you can see yourself. You guys are handsome looking. Or pretty. Whichever. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. I don't know, I guess maybe this will help me with the cloud or weather th stuff. I don't know yet. I gotta, I gotta read some stuff. We'll see. Right, and then the last item, flashlight mini lantern, splash flash glow. Okay, so a little bit about the light. Unbreakable um, LED bulb shines a bright, clean 360 degrees of light up to 25 lumens for 11 continuous hours. Made of high impact ABS plastic with a molded rubber lens protector, waterproof, Twist collar back and forth to cycle through lighting modes. A carabiner clip attaches anywhere, doubles as a keychain. Woo! <laughs> I see. Yeah, it is 360 degrees. Wait, what was I supposed to turn? Oh. 
Oh, now it's flashing. Now it's flashing faster. <laughs> All right, now it's solid again. Oh, don't don't look right at it. All right, so uh, yeah, let me let me look over this and we'll see what we can do with this. Okay, so I'm outside to try to check out some clouds today. Uh, while I was reading over this um, the pocket guide, there is some weather lore in here, and I thought it was funny. I like little things like this. Like it says stuff like. Um, Let's see, red at red sky at night, sailors delight, red sky morning, sailors take warning. Basically, red sunsets are usually followed by dry nights. Red morning sky means rain is on the way. Uh, little things like squirrels tail fluffy, winter will be blustery. If a squirrel if squirrels have a very bushy tail in the fall, this indicates a severe winter. And there's usually squirrels running all around here, but now that I want to look at one, they're hiding from me. It's definitely fall right now, uh, but I'll keep an eye out, so if there's any squirrels with some bushy tails, then uh, we're going to have a crappy winter. Alright, so anyway, I'm um, trying to look at some of these clouds here, and I don't... Guys, this might have been a bad day to come test this out. I don't see, like, a single cloud in the sky. I swear there were some this morning. I just happened to look up and notice there was clouds out this morning. But, um, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. I don't see anything. It's so clear. It's just a beautiful day. There is nothing. It's just blue sky for miles. Okay, so looking over my weather guide here, my cloud guide with my cloud cards, um, the only thing I can think of is I mean, it doesn't really mention clear skies unless it, I'm just not seeing it. I do have some wind right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit. Uh, so I don't know if I have cumulus going on, because it says their fluffy white clouds indicate fair weather if well separated. Um, when they're bunched up, it can cause heavy showers. So maybe they're just really, really separated right now. Um, or, or maybe I got some, maybe they're just so low right now. There's also the cirrus clouds that, um, you know, like they're really, really spaced out. I don't know if that's picking up or not. But high, wispy white clouds composed of ice crystals indicate good weather, often called mare's tails. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just everything's just so spaced out right now, and that's why we just got beautiful weather here. Uh, I'm in, currently in Georgia, and uh, it's hot. It's hot here, and I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a hoodie. Uh, I didn't have this hoodie on earlier, uh, and that's probably when I saw clouds, because it probably wasn't this hot. But now it's, you know, clouds have cleared, and it is hot. So I kind of, I kind of want some clouds right now, honestly. Alright guys, so sorry I didn't really have like any clouds to look at here, but uh, you just kind of got to work with what you're given. Uh, of course I'll have clouds on another day, uh, and then of course I can look at this a um, little bit more deeper to maybe read more about it. I kind of just breeze through it really quick just to kind of get a good understanding. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. If you want to check out your own outside box to see what activity they're going to send next month, just go to theoutsidebox.com. I will also put the link in the description below, and that is where I'll end today's video.